Hello, I hope that this video settles whatever confusion still uh, lies with regards to these topics. So let's say we are given these intermediate graphs on the left hand side. So you're, you're going to solve a compound inequality. And then this is what the graphs look like as your intermediate step, meaning this is the first thing that you're graphing. The word that I want us to use is listed in the middle here. And then on the right hand side, these are the final answers. So anything after the colon is the final answer. So if you have arrows going to the left and right from A, and it's a compound inequality of the or type, then you're asking where are we covered from the rain, meaning there's rain falling all over the place, where are we covered from it? Well, we're covered from negative infinity to A, and then from B to infinity. You'll notice I used open circles for all these problems. It doesn't really matter if it's a closed circle, then you would just use brackets, but the idea still remains the same. So here's the interval. If the question on the test asks you for an interval, this is what you type in. If the question asks you to graph, then this is what you graph. So this is the intermediate step. In this case, the final answer and the intermediate step are the same thing. That there's no change between them. We are covered here and we're covered here. If we have the same exact graph, but it's an and problem, then we're looking for a sandwich. Where is the overlap? Well, the two lines never overlap each other, so there is no solution. And for the graph, you would just leave the number line blank because there are no solutions to graph. So this, again, is the intermediate step. This is the final answer. For number three, the lines are going in opposite directions, uh, but they do have an overlap here in the middle. So if it were an or problem, we're asking, where are we covered from the falling rain? Well, we're covered from negative infinity to A by, let's say, this umbrella. And then we have a rain jacket as well, and we have an umbrella. So we have two layers of protection. Basically, you can walk from negative infinity all the way to infinity while having some sort of coverage above you. So with an or problem, we're looking for where are we covered from the rain? We're covered everywhere. So the final answer graph would be just a number line with a horizontal line going to either ends on both sides. You can also represent this with the script letter R to indicate all real numbers. If I ask for an interval, this is what you must give me. If I ask for the graph, this is what you must give me. In some cases, students were typing this in and Delta Math was marking it correct. Again, for the interval, this is the correct notation. For the graph, this is the correct graph. If we have the same exact graph, but instead we, instead of having an or problem, we have an and problem. Now we ask for the same picture, where is the sandwich? Where is the overlap? Well, there's an overlap between A and B. So the graph of that would be just the solutions from A to B. Only this portion needs to be uh, graphed. So this would be the final answer. This is just the intermediate step. And then because this portion is graphed between A and B, the interval is just a to B. And if one of these were closed, then you would just use brackets here instead of parentheses. And if you have this sort of an answer, and you wanted to write this as an inequality, you put the x in the middle. So you're saying x is between A and B. So x is greater than A, meaning x is to the right of A. And x is less than B, meaning x is to the left of B. Moving on. Uh, let's not Sure, too much here. So we have A going to the left and B also going to the left. We have an OR and also an AND with the same graph. With an OR problem, we're asking, hey, there's rain falling all, all over the place. Where are we covered? Well, we're covered from negative infinity to A based on this line, but we also have coverage from this top line all the way up until B. So we are covered everywhere from negative infinity to B. That's the final answer for the graph. The interval would be negative infinity to B. And then if you were to ask, or if you were asked to write this as an inequality, you would write x is less than B. All the values of x are less than this number B. Same exact graph, but if it's an AND problem, for an AND problem, we're looking for where is the sandwich? Where are the two lines on top of each other? Well, they're not on top of each other from A to B. The bottom line doesn't even exist here. 
They're certainly not on top of each other here. Neither line exists to the right of B. However, in this region, to the left of A, the two lines are on top of each other. So the solution would be all the numbers to the left of A. We can write that as an interval with negative infinity comma A. Again, we're always reading lines from left to right. And then if we wanted to write that as an inequality, we would write X is less than A. All these solutions are less than this number A. And then the last two variation, possible variations are, well, they're both going to the right. So here they were both going to the left and we had an or and an and. Here they're both going to the right and we have an or and an and. So again, if we are asking where are we covered from the rain, well, we're covered everywhere from A onwards. And then after B, we have two layers of coverage or protection. But that's okay, we just need one. So we are covered from the rain from A to infinity. So this is our final graph, starting at A, going to infinity. And you would also write the interval the same way, A comma infinity. If you were asked to write the inequality, you would write X, which is all of these solutions, are greater than this number A. So X is greater than A. Same exact picture, if it were an AND problem, you would say, well, now I'm looking for where the overlap is. Where is the sandwich? Well, here the two lines don't even exist, so it couldn't be there. Here, between A and B, the top line doesn't exist, so it couldn't be there. But if you notice, after B, to the right of B, both lines are on top of each other. So the solutions live everywhere to the right of B. So that's the final answer here that's graphed. And the interval there is b comma infinity because the solutions start at b and they go all the way to infinity. As an inequality, you would write it as x is greater than b. All the solutions are numbers that are greater than this number b, whatever that happens to be. Now you'll notice here I scratched some stuff out. The reason for that is there are no other variations. These eight are the only possible choices I can even ask you about. I tried to make more and then I realized this is the exact same problem as this one. All I've done is the arrow from A to the right is underneath, and here it's on top. It's still the same exact problem. So just because I wrote one arrow underneath and one arrow on top doesn't mean that the answer is going to be different. It's the exact same question. And I thought, once I realized that this was basically the same problem as this one with an or, I tried to come up with a different variation, and then once I step back from the problem, I realize that these are the only eight possibilities. There are nothing, there are no other orientations you can come up with for two lines. Either they go away from each other with no overlap, or they go away from each other with some overlap, or they go in the same direction to the left, or they go in the same direction to the right. That's it. There's no other possible choices for what two lines could do on a number line. So hopefully this helps. Uh, if questions still persist, feel free to reach out on Slack.